Hi, this is Gali Gopfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're in a communicative mood because today our quote of the day is, if there was any great lesson in life, it was this, no battle was ever won with silence by Shannon L. Alder. Now, this quote is all about communication, and communication is a crucial skill and the basis of success and happiness, and this is because communication skills will determine the level of satisfaction from your relationships in your job and your personal relationships. Now, what's great about communicating effectively is that it is a skill that can be learned and improved if you choose to work at it. Communication is not only done with words, but also with body language and tone of voice and eye contact and other uh, physical movements. All of these can be learned and improved. But before you try to improve your communication skills, it is important to know why you want to improve them. You want to improve your communication skills mainly because when you communicate effectively, it builds trust. People will trust you. They will believe in your integrity and your strength, and they will feel safe with you. And what could be better for relationships in the personal and work field than, than having trust? So how can you improve your communication skills? Well, the first step is vulnerability. There are four steps that we're gonna to cover today. And these will help you Im improve your communication skills. And the first one is vulnerability. You must become more vulnerable. There is a close link between how you feel physically and how you communicate with others because communication is the external expression of your inner energy. Miscommunication between people is at the heart of many, many difficulties with other people and the reason is because of invulnerability, meaning lack of being vulnerable. Communication begins by communicating our true feelings, first of all with ourselves and then with others. Now just as we must learn to love ourselves before we can love another person, we must first know how to communicate with ourselves before we can communicate effectively with other people. Miscommunication and lack of understanding of what is going on inside of us is at the root cause of tension and discomfort that we have with other people and the reason for the way we process our feelings. Expressing feelings in words is not easy. It's actually quite difficult. Most often we don't even understand what we are feeling inside and, and then we forget the real reason that we decided to communicate. Then we consciously express something that may be completely different than what we wanted to communicate. And this leads the other person not to understand us and why we are and what we are trying to say but in fact it is all it is us really it starts with our own personal fault that we do not know what we are trying to convey because we do not know what we are feeling and we are also not aware that we do not know what we are feeling so what we need to do is bridge this gap between what we are feeling and how we are expressing our feelings the gap is built from fear the mind filters our feelings, making them unrecognizable. Because as we grew up, we learned that showing our feelings was not always acceptable. And since being accepted is one of the most profound human needs, we learn to filter our emotions and sometimes even feel guilty that we have these feelings. We did this to protect ourselves from criticism and disapproval of other people. Now, as adults, through this habit, we deny our true feelings, leading us to become distant from ourselves and distant from other people. And this affects our communication skills and, our, and, and the connections and the relationships that we have with other people. Now, in order to gain acceptance and approval from other people, we act differently than we who, who we really are. And this is born from a fear of rejection. This downward spiral prevents us from communication with others effectively as well as from ourselves we don't really know what we are feeling and we forget who we really are now to prevent this from happening we must let go of our fear of rejection and our own self-rejection and allow ourselves to become who we really are and to become vulnerable 
We must learn to accept our feelings as they are and that they are a natural human response. Although we do not need to express all of our emotions, we must understand that they are a natural part of our life. Now, in order to communicate effectively, you want to release your fear of rejection and let your true self shine through. Be real to yourself and to others. Of course, you don't need to say everything that's, that jumps into your mind, but you do need to express what is important to you without the fear uh, of uh, the consequences that may come. You will only gain if you are real with yourself and others, as those who respect you and appreciate you as you are will stay with you, and those uh, who don't will slowly drift away. And although this may be scary at first, it will make you much happier in the long run. You want to become more aware of your emotions. Understanding your own emotions and other people's emotions is what is known as emotional intelligence. And because emotional intelligence has to do with our communication skills, it is far more important to, to success in our life than intellectual uh, intelligence, IQ. Emotional intelligence means that you are aware of your emotions and you understand your own emotions and you can master your own emotions. And also, this will lead you to also understanding other people and their emotions much better. Okay, let's move on to the second step towards effective communication, and it involves decoding nonverbal cues, nonverbal communication, such as the tone of the voice, the pitch of the voice, body movements, eye contact, and posture, facial expressions, and even physiological changes like sweating. You can be sure that your message is conveyed, is conveyed in the best possible way when both your actions and your body language is consistent. And when you understand your own and other people's nonverbal cues by hearing what isn't being said, then you can understand their point of view much better and you will understand them much better and this uh, forms better communication and relationships. This takes practice and it takes also more effective listening skills, which moves us on to the next uh, step towards communicating effectively, which is listening effectively. Communication is a two-way process. We are not in a monologue like I am here <laughs> in this video. We are having a dialogue with other people. We are not just stating our message and moving on. We, we want to listen to the response, and that's why we are communicating. How many times in a conversation were you uh, uh, waiting to uh, give your own um, point of view and not really listening to what the other person is saying? You were waiting for your turn. How many times has this happened? Well, it happens to all of us until we learn to control this. You can decide to stop doing this. It just takes practice to listen properly, which involves paying attention to the words being spoken, but also to the words that are not being spoken. And also, of course, to the nonverbal cues that are given. But this can be learned and used. Uh, it just really takes an understanding, a willingness, and practice. Everybody likes to be heard. So when you are listening attentively by giving your full attention to the person speaking and genuinely concentrating on what they are saying and also what they are not saying, then you really get to know the other person. And when you get to know another person, you understand them better. And this is the basis of a good relationship. You can also ask questions to clarify things uh, that the other person said that you may not have understood to avoid any confusion, and this is called active listening. And it really makes the other person feel important, creating a better bond between the both of you. Now, these three actions, which I mentioned, including vulnerability and understanding your emotions and allowing yourself to express your emotions positively and uh, understanding other people's emotions, uh, and understanding yours and other people's nonverbal communications cues and also listening skills are the three main actions to improve your communication skills. And this will make your life happier and much more successful. 
So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, which of, the three, which of these three steps uh, for communicating effectively are most needed by you now? And how will you go about improving these communication skills that you desire to improve? Ask yourself this question. And as usual, I also recommend writing down this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and ensure that you are improving your life in the right direction for you. Now, let's move on to the affirmation of the day. The affirmation is, I communicate my needs effectively and listen attentively to other people's needs so that I better understand, uh, so that I have a better understanding with the people in my life. So let's say that once again. I communicate my needs effectively and listen attentively to other people's needs so that I communicate better with the people in my life. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation is so powerful. It can completely transform your life for the better. So I hope you liked this video. I hope, to, I hope it was very helpful for you. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these types of videos um, that I upload about five times a week uh, for you to enjoy and improve your life. And please also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with health and wellness. Thank you very much for joining me.